tip nine. Uh, tip nine, 300 square feet to 350 square feet for a parking space. Uh, this is sort of for PPP and that kind of thing. Uh, so if you have to find a way to do, let's say somebody says you have uh, 100 cars. Well, how big of a parking lot is 100 cars? Multiply it by 300, there you go. How big is that parking lot? Uh, we always know that the parking lot is going to be somewhere between 60 and 64 feet wide. That's going to be enough room for a parking space, a drive aisle, and a parking space. And then what's the other dimension? It's going to be half the number of parking spaces times nine. Why? Because nine foot is the typical width of a parking space. So in like seconds, somebody can give you a fairly complicated sounding question, and you can figure out exactly how big that thing needs to be. Blackspectacles.com is the home of online learning for architecture and design. You can go to blackspectacles.com, kind of get a taste of this online ARE prep curriculum we built with AI Chicago and Mike, covering all seven sections of the exam. And there are free tutorials in every one of those courses. As a part of today's session, you're eligible for coupon codes for your ARE membership. 15% off the monthly membership and 30% off an annual membership all through the end of the month. And we're doing group memberships. So if you want to get one for your firm or you want your firm to buy one for you, you can go to blackspectacles.com slash business or just email me. We're running a promotion again where business memberships are 15% off as well. Our next webinar is going to be different. What we're going to do is we're going to sort of have a no holds barred Q&A session with Mike. It's not specific to an exam. Whatever exam you're working on, you have a question, you've tried to solve a vignette and you don't like your answer, you're unsure about your answer, put it in a PDF and email it to me. And what we'll do is we're just going to take them first come first serve and everyone who submits them will take an hour and Mike will answer them one after the other. So it'll be a cool event because if you actually have a question, you can get a real answer. And if you just want to see what other people are kind of wrestling with, it'd be a great way to learn from other people's questions and problems and so on. So that's going to be on April 22nd.